the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 7 and it reads surely the Lord power of Abraham Isaac Jacob will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets Amos chapter 3 verse 7 it says surely the power of Abraham Isaac Jacob his name is Yahweh will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophet what are the Lord's secret the power of Abraham and Jacob and Isaac is the understanding of the scriptures the breakdown that our King Yahweh Shai gave us he was the only person worthy to remove the seal of the book pursuant to the book of Revelation he took the seal off meaning the understanding of the scriptures because this book here was written in codes hmm? Sometimes words don't mean, uh, literally doesn't mean what it is saying. But the Lord, it says, Amos 3, 7, it says, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophet. That's what the Lord did for us, give us the understanding of this precept. Because family, we know that building bunkers, eh, caves, and trying to hide in this case is not going to save you. You know why? Because the Lord said it to us. He showed us in the book that he gave us the precepts. Family, the Lord gave us the precepts. The Lord power, Yahweh, told us about what these people are going to be doing in the last days. <clears throat> he told us that they're going to be hiding in their bunkers. But their bunkers are not going to save them. Family, the power that we serve, family, is no any ordinary power. Eh? We serve the almighty power, the omnipotent. There's nothing above him. There's nothing that he doesn't know. He knew that the time will come when the rich, eh, your elite of this society, your kings, eh, the billionaires, the trillionaires, they're going to be building bunkers. But what did the Lord do? He wrote it. He put it in the mouth of the prophet. To write it down. Eh? To put it on a scroll. That we. Mm, the last days when we see these things are happening. We will give him glory. And give him praise. All praises honor. To our power. Our heavenly father. Yahweh, And his only begotten son. The king of Israel. It says, why do the heathen rage, family? It's talking about the rest of the nation, the heathen. Psalm chapter 2. Mm, before I bring the article out. It says here, Psalm chapter 2. It says, why do the heathen rage? Mm -hmm. And the people imagine a vain thing. Because family, these people actually think that they are bonkers. Because the elite, they know something is coming. That is why they are spending billions and billions building bunkers. So they can hide in them. And after the nuclear war, they're going to come out. They're going to rise up like the phoenix and continue with their wickedness. They know. The Lord said in verse 2, says, The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel mm. together against the Lord. They come together. How do we screw people up? Yeah. Take away their food. Make sure they can pay their energy bills. Upset them and then we're going to hide and they're going to go after each other. Eh? And then when it's all settled we can come out of our bunkers and build back better. Yes. Family says the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. Saying, 
Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cause from us. He, listen to this. He, who is he? Our power, Yahweh. He said, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Family, that word derision, let's go to the etymology of the word derision. Hmm? It says ridicule, ridicule. Mean it says mockery, subject, subjection to ridicule or mockery. The Lord is gonna be the God, the Lord is laughing at them. Family, I am here to tell you in the mighty and holy name of the King of Israel, Yahweh Shai, that they are bonkers, hmm? the gold that they are packing up, they are Bitcoin, hey, eh? the theater. So, family, some you have to see some of the bonkers that these people are building. It comes with full shooting range and eh? theater that can accompany at least 50 people swimming pool that's how they roll but the lord said he's going to be laughing at them he's going to be mocking at them because they're going to wish eh? they're going to wish that they die in this bunkers that's what is coming family will bring the precept up but family let's get into it let's go to the uh, the article Oh, family. Oh, we are living in a beautiful time. Family, the Lord, the power that we serve, the power of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, family, he is a master, maybe 100 billion degree chess player. Eh? And the people that he's dealing with right now, the ones building the bunkers, your kings on this planet, family, they are learning how to play draft. Mm -hmm. Yes. The king of kings, Yahweh Shai, his father, Yahweh, he is the 10th degree master eh, chess player. Hmm? These people, their arms are too short to compete with our power, Yahweh. He has every corner. Eh? He told us about what these people are doing right now. He told us about what they're going to be doing in the last days. Family, it's in the book. But let's read a bit of this article and it will bring the precept out. Family, it's all about the glorification of our power. This from Zero Hedge. This was published yesterday. It says, they, the elite, are, they are definitely getting prepared. Are you? It said the ultra worth, worth, worthy are some of the best preppers in the entire world. He says, I realize that statement may sound strange to many of you, but it is actually true. The elite are very well aware that we are on the precipice of a full blown societal meltdown. And many of them are spending enormous amounts of time, money, and energy to prepare themselves for the extremely difficult times that are rapidly approaching. In some cases, ultra-wealthy individuals are forking out giant mountains of cash for, luxury, for luxurious underground bunkers in the middle of nowhere. In other cases, elites are actually buying citizenship in far away foreign lands that they think would be safe. We are talking about some of the smartest and wealthiest people in our entire society. And they are so freaked out about what is coming that they have become absolutely obsessed with trying to save themselves. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Again, Amos chapter 3 verse 7 says, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophet. The Lord gave us the secret. The Lord showed us exactly what is happening right now. He told us. That's why I said knowledge and wisdom is going to be the stability of the time. Family, I am not building a bunker. And I don't think you should either. I mean, if you have the money you want to build a bunker, go ahead, fill your boot. But family, we know, I know in my spirit, that if the Lord promised he's going to deliver us, he's going to deliver us. 
because these people with their wickedness they've de destroyed the entire world they've created this problem and they think they're gonna hide away eh? family let's go to the first precept let's go to the book eh? of revelation Oh, we are here to lift up the name of our power, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Revelation chapter 6, verse 15, it says here, And the kings of the earth and the great men, listen to this, the guy was just talking about what? The ultra rich, the kings, the rulers, the, your prime minister, your ministers, your presidents, yes, they are all building bunkers. They are probably, the bunkers are already ready. It's ready because family, once this society collapses, they want to come out, build back better. Yeah, bring the solution. But listen to this. It says, and the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bond man. Because remember, this rich family, do you know they don't work? They're going to have slaves. They're going to have mates in the bunker with them to serve them. Eh? It says here, and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. Family, the Lord covered every angle. That's why he says he's going to be laughing at these people. You don't think the Lord knows exactly what's going to be happening in the last days? Family, the Lord wrote the script. This is his movie. Everybody has their parts. He knows that the rich are going to be hiding in their bunkers. He wrote that in the movie. That's their lot. Family, you speak to a director. Hmm, sometimes he writes the script and he gives everybody their parts. Hmm? And then he produced it, the movie. If the director wrote something for you to act out, you cannot... Say you're not going to do it because family, your paycheck depends on what the di director asks you to do. It's that simple. So family, what you are seeing right now, what the elite are doing right now, hiding in their bunkers, spending millions, and family, they're going to take all their gold, their diamonds, all their resources into these bunkers to save them for the last days. But that is the movie. That's the part. The part of the movie that the Lord gave them. Family, this is the best movie ever written. All praises to our power, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh. Shai. Family, listen up. It says here. And said, it says, verse 16 says, And said to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. And from the wrath of the Lamb. Because family, the end is here. When Yahweh Shai makes his way after the nuclear missiles have been going across the continent. Because family, this war is going to be fought with nuclear. That's right. ICBM, Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles. They're going to be hiding in their bunkers. This is how the Lord wants it. Because those elites that we just read about, the ones building their body, they're going to be the first crop of slavery in the kingdom of heaven. They're going to build this kingdom, Yahweh Shai's kingdom. It says here, verse 17 says, it says verse 16, let's repeat verse 16. It says, and said to the mountains, hmm? because that's going to be, some of them are going to die in those bunkers. It says, and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. Who is the face of that that sitteth on the throne? Yahweh Shai. Family, the king is coming in his glory. And he is about to... Oh, family. Like he said, he's not going to meet me as a man. He's coming for the Edomite. The ones in rulership right now. The same Roman Empire that was ruling then. This is just the last leg of the Roman Empire. They are building bunkers to hide. Mm -hmm. It says here... And said to the mountains and the rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come. Mm -hmm. And who shall be able to stand? Yes, yeah, so family, let's continue with the article. 
they are just doing what the Lord asked them to do. Okay? It says we are talking about some of the smartest and the wealthiest people in our entire society. And they are so freaked out about what is coming that they have become absolutely obsessed with trying to save themselves. It says many of these individuals got to where they are today by staying one step ahead of everyone else. That is why it is so alarming that 2,150 corporate executives sold off shares in their own companies in the month of August alone. Are you listening to this? In the month of August alone, 2,150 corporate executives sold off shares in their own companies in the month of August alone. Do they know something that the rest of us don't know? No, family. We know through the Spirit. Again, the Lord, our power, Yahweh, He will do nothing but He reveal His secrets to His prophets. So we are not afraid. This is also part of the movie. That the same bunkers are going to be their burial. We know. And the ones that survived, they are the first crop of slaves that we're going to be digging out of those graves and those caves and those dens, wherever they are. He says, of course, when things start getting really bad, Many among the elite do not plan to stick around to see what happens. The following comes from a Guardian article entitled The Super Rich Preppers Planning to Save Themselves from the Apocalypse. It says many of those seriously seeking a safe haven simply hire one of several prepper construction companies to bury a prefab steel line bunker somewhere on one of their existing properties. Rising S Company in Texas builds and installs bunkers and tornado shelters for as little as 40000 for an 8-foot by 12-foot emergency hideout all the way up to 8.3 million luxury series. Aristocrat, complete with pool and bowling lane, the enterprise originally catered to families seeking temporary storm shelters before it went into the long-term apocalypse business. The company logo, complete with three crucifix, crucifixes, suggested their services are geared more towards Christian evangelist preppers in red state America than billionaire tech bros playing out sci-fi uh, sci scenarios. He said there's something much more whimsical about the facilities in which most of the billionaires or more accurately aspiring billionaires actually invest a company called vivos is selling luxury underground apartment in cov coveted cold war munition storage facilities missile silos and other fortified locations around the world it says ultra let's skip here it says other ultra wealthy individuals are shelling out cash for golden passport that grant them citizenship in a second country. It says loaded liberals are forking out millions of dollars for golden passport because they are scared of a Trump led civil war in 2024, immigration lawyers have revealed. Family, we are all about glorifying our power. So let's bring out another precept. <clears throat> Let's go to Isaiah chapter 2. Actually, no, no. Let's, yeah, let's go to Isaiah chapter 2. Isaiah chapter 2. Starting from verse 10. It says here. Let's pick it up with verse 9. It says here, Isaiah 2 verse 9. It says, and the mean men bowed down, and the great man humbled himself. Therefore, forgive them not. It says, Enter into the rock and hide thee in the dust for fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty. 
It says, The lofty looks of men shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud. And these are the nations. Yes. There's nobody proud than Esau, the Edomite. Oh, there's nobody proud than family. They are building bunkers to try to hide away from the Lord. Man, the Lord says he's going to have them in derision. He's going to be laughing at them. He said, look at this. Look, look, look at this. I wrote this movie. I know exactly which corner you're going to be hiding in. Look, 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 look at them. Look at them. The Lord is going to be laughing at you. Family, our job is to sit, wait on the Lord, do the best that we can. If you have to stock up on few items, stock up on few items, you know. But family, we don't have the, I don't know about you, but I don't have the money to build no bunker. My faith is in our power, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Verse 12 again says, For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. But I want to hit Isaiah 24. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 24, verse 20. Isaiah 24, 20. It says here. It said, The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage. You ask yourself, how is the earth is going to rock like to and fro? Family, once those nuclear missile hits, it's going to feel like earthquake. The foundation of this earth is going to shake. Yes. So yes, they know what is coming. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They know what is coming. But family, they're not going to get away. Oh yeah. <clears throat> the Lord said what? He will not at all acquit the wicked. Oh, they're going to pay. They haven't been punished yet. They're going to pay. The ones that survive, the nuclear weapon, the, the missiles and every family, they're going straight into slavery. Don't be fooled. All the gold that they've, they're stocking up in these bunkers. Oh, family. We are getting all of them, Lord willing. Lord willing, I'll be in there or digging it out. Because family, Jerusalem, the Lord says it's going to be paved with gold. So we're going to need all the gold, all the precious stones. So family, we see them building their bunkers and storing their gold. Sit back because we are going to enjoy it, Lord willing. It says here, verse 21. It says, no, verse 20. It says, Isaiah 24, verse 20. It says, the earth shall reel too and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again this kingdom is falling and it's going to fall hard because it's the last leg of the roman empire and i'm here to tell you china russia none of them are going to rule this once this fall yahweh shai's kingdom is coming this is it it's over. Over. And this is it. It's done. The Israelites are back on top. It says here, verse 21, it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones. Yeah, the one in rulership. The Edomite. The high ones. Yeah, we are the bottom family. We are not in rulership. Hmm? The host of the high ones that are on high. And the kings of the earth upon the earth. Your rulership. Your King Charles. King Charles, he's, he's, he's a king now. The queen passed away today. Now he's the king now. But his next stop is slavery. That's what the book says. Family says, and they shall be gathered together. Listen to this. The ones that are in the bunkers, the ones that are building the bunkers, right? And this is what the Lord is saying about them. It says, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit. For they're going to be underground, family, in the pit. And shall be shut up in prison. We're going to keep them in prison. And after many days shall they be visited. Hmm? Yes. That's their nest of family. And the Lord that day also promised a great feast. Yes. A great feast to the animals. Yes. Once the nuclear missiles start hitting, a lot of people are going to die. The Lord promised the feast, the animals, the, the fowls of the heaven. A great feast. 
the family before i bring that out let's go to the let's read a bit of the article this family this is juicy hmm? it says but what if we are facing emergency that are truly global in nature in that case such a plan may not work as well if you would like a golden passport in the future you might want to start saving up your money family we are not even thinking about that because family we want to get into the chariot we are family we don't have plan b we don't have plan c family we are waiting on our power yahweh bah hashem yahweh shai that's it if our king don't show up family i don't know what to tell you but we know he says he will deliver us family we we are good we are going to we're going to be good it says here in fact many americans that are working as hard as they can do not earn enough to cover a basic family budget more than one third of u.s families that work full-time year round do not earn enough to cover a basic family budget according to a recent report from researchers at brandeis university diversity data kits dot org that so dot org program at institute for child youth and family policy the situation is even more dire for black and hispanic families according to the report it's a more than half cannot afford basic needs compared to 25 percent of white families and 23 percent of asian pacific islander families inequalities remain even when controlling the education and occupation i was stunned when i first came across those numbers It says so many people out there are just trying to survive from month to month. Yeah, so family, they're the elite. Yeah, they are preparing. The elite are preparing. Yeah, they're going to be hiding in the bunkers. But family, we know what the book says. The book says, yeah, they're going to wish they were not in that bunkers. But what can you do, man, family? There's not much. They don't know better, right? They don't know better. They think they know, but they don't know that there is the Lord that is that has given them. That is their lot. <laughs> family, that's the scary thing. That's why it says, family, fear the Lord. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Look at how the Lord is laughing at them. The Lord give them a lot to play. He a part to play in this movie. They're going to be hiding in their bunkers. The Lord, the Lord created those bunkers for them to hide in. And yes, that same bunker is going to be some of them. Yeah, they're going to die in that same bunker. They're going to wish they can, because they, they they they're not going to be able to look at the face of the king. No, they just what they want that, those rock to fall upon them to kill them in those bunkers that's what they're going to be wishing for on that day and that day is fast approaching mm -hmm. that day is fast approaching you know but uh here let's go to the book of revelation chapter 19 the book of revelation chapter 19 and um Let's go Revelation 19 because I said what the Lord that day the Lord promised the heavenly the, the the heaven the fowl of the heavens your birds and the beasts of the earth they they're gonna enjoy they're gonna enjoy because it says here Revelation 19 verse 17 it says um, and I saw an angel standing in the sun and he cried with a loud voice saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven come. And gather yourself together unto the supper of the great power mm -hmm. that ye may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men both free born and and both small and great that's the day of the lord mm -hmm. the fall of the heaven are going to rejoice because the lord is about to kill a lot of people all these people hiding in their bunkers family they're not going to survive and if you survive you're going into slavery that's the day of the lord mm -hmm. yes for the controversy of zion let's go man family this book here oh it's a beautiful let's go to the book of daniel so you know what we are dealing with daniel chapter 2 
Daniel chapter 2. It says here, Daniel chapter 2 verse 44. This is before the king. The Hawashai comes and takes down all the kingdom. And as Daniel chapter 2 verse 44, it says here, And in the days of these kings, eh, these rulers, eh, all these kings that came and gone from Alexander the Great to the starting from the, the Syrian, Babylonian, Babylonian Empire to the Medes, Persia, Persia to the Greek, from the Greek to the Roman, and then the Roman and the last leg of the Roman Empire. This is it. This is the kings. Family says, and in the days of these kings shall the most, yeah, the, the most high Yahweh of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. You hear that? Yahweh Shai's kingdom, family, it is the everlasting kingdom. That's why we are praying that we give him. we are the first fruit. Family, this is this is it. This is this is the, the salvation. This is this is the fate of our this is it. This is it. <laughs> we want that kingdom. Yahweh Shai's kingdom. Eh? It says here. And in, in and in the days of these kings shall the God the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to another people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and they shall stand forever. That's why Yahweh is known as the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, because he's taking down all these kings. He's getting the credit for it. Family, these angels are coming. Family, lasers are going to be shooting out of the, the so-called UFOs. Yes, those are the Lord's chariots. That's right. That's what is coming. That's why America is busy trying to what? weaponize space. China is complaining today that America is trying to weaponize space. They know something is coming because they've been seeing the UFOs. It's been popping out everywhere and they are extremely afraid. Yahweh Shai is coming. Yahweh Shai, the king of Israel, is coming and they know that. They know that. Yes, they are not going to be saved, family. It doesn't matter which bunker you're hiding in. But the key, the key, the key thing is the Lord continue to remind us. Let's finish off with this. I know you guys know exactly where I'm going. Second Ezra 16. Let's go to Second Ezra. Uh, what is it here? Um, Second Ezra 16. 70. The Lord said, "Thou not." It says here. Here, this is it. This it. It says here. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 74. Family, listen to this carefully. Okay? Yes. Sometimes it's going to come to a point where you think like, man, well, how am I going to survive this? You know, all this chaos. I can't find something to eat. What do I, where am I going? Am I going to just compromise and take uh, the CHIP, the chip that they want to put under your skin so you can have a, 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 a bottle of water? No, family. Nah, -uh. it's not gonna. It's not worth it. If you die in the name of your Hawa Shai family, you're going to be the first to be raised up into the chariot. Family, the ship is sinking. Their kingdom is falling and falling hard. Your Hawa Shai is coming. But this is what the Lord is telling us, the, the hopeful elect. It says here, Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 74. It says, Here, O ye, my beloved, says the Lord, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. The day of trouble is at hand. It's going to be here. Remember, through much tribulation, Look up that word, tribulation. We're going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. So yes, it things are going to be extremely tough. But we know the Lord is reminding us. He says, hear, O ye, my beloved. Says the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand. But I will deliver you from the same. He says, be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For the Most High is your guide. Mm -hmm. That's it. It says the Most High Yahweh is your guide on that day. Neither doubt. You can have any doubt, family. You gotta have the faith to believe that when it looks like there's no way you're gonna get out of this, you gotta have the faith and say, yes, the Lord is gonna come through. That's right. That's why, family, when you come to serve the Lord, He said, "Well, prepare your soul for temptation and continue and endure." Let's get that. Let's get that. A table of content. It says. Uh, here, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter, is it chapter 2? It says here, Ecclesiasticus chapter 2, also known as Sirach. It says here, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation and set thy heart aright and constantly, listen to this, constantly. 
it's not saying oh no you don't have to uh, no no concern no, it just wants you constantly all the time family constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble don't rush to anything because sometimes when your back is against the wall that's when we make the, some 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 ugly decisions eh? because we feel like there's no way we're gonna get out of here and then we start we start compromising no 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 no, no. the lord is telling you make no haste and eh? don't rush just wait on the lord it says make no haste in time of trouble it says cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at the last end you hear that so it don't matter if you feel they look like man you know the tu the tunnel is, is bleak you can see the light at the end of the tunnel and you can see you grouping and you can't touch anything you can it's just walking in that family it says endure to the end constantly endure eh? and make no haste in time of trouble don't rush don't make any decision that you're gonna come and you're gonna you're gonna regret later wait on the lord okay right? we're gonna leave it there family so yes back to the article it says here they are definitely getting prepared are you family the lord is laughing at them they are doing exactly what the lord wanted them to do that's the power that we serve they are doing exactly what the lord wanted them to do I mean, a precept just pop in my spirit. I must well get it and finish off with that. Let's go to Isaiah 40, Isaiah 44. Here, Isaiah 44, verse 8. It says, Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from the time and have declared it? If ye are even my witnesses, is there a God beside me? Yea, there's no power. I know not any. You, you hear that? The Lord is going to deliver us, but that's not the one I was looking for. But yeah, family, let's 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 read a bit of it. He says here. He says, "I have surnamed thee." Let me see what it is here. Family, I'm just flowing with the spirit. Okay, family, so bear with me. says I have surnamed thee maybe it's Isaiah 45 yes here family let's read this Isaiah 45 verse 4 it says here for Jacob my servant's sake <clears throat> and Israel mine elect Hey, he says, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord Yahweh, and there is none else. There is no power beside me. I gather thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness make the darkness i make peace and create evil i the lord do all these things family this is the power that we serve hey eh? everybody's playing their role hey eh? you're gonna have the wicked and you're gonna have the righteous the righteous are what the israelite the children of jacob the power the children of abraham isaac jacob the promised seed family seed one it's not seed. We know that Abraham, our forefather, had eight, 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 uh, eight men. But the seed went to Isaac. And Isaac had Jacob and Esau. And Esau is the cursed seed. They are in rulership right now. And after Esau... Ah, family, let's finish with this. Let's go to the book of Ezra. Hmm? This is it. Let's finish with this, family. This is it. We're done. We're done. This is the last precept. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 8. It says here, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, 
Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. Here's the point. Verse 9 says, For Esau is the end of the world. That's why they are building bunkers, family. This is it. This is it. They are never going back into rulership. This is it. It says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. That is the good news. To the elect of Israel, all praises, honor, glory to our power, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, the king of Israel. The only begotten son who is coming to sit on the throne. Hmm? The throne of his forefathers. Family. That is the good news. That is the good news. Shalom. You should be excited as they starting to build their bunkers. Family, sit back and enjoy your blessings. Yahweh Shai, your king is coming. This is for the elect of Israel. Yes, we are not afraid. We are not going to be. We don't, we don't even have the money. To build the bunkers. That's the honest truth. But we're going to trust in our power, Yahweh. And he's going to send his only begotten son to get us out of this place. Before, you know, he destroyed, totally destroyed this place. Our praises to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Shalom, beloved.